about to see something I've never seen before. Dr. Rao says that the man we're about to meet is destined to go down in medical history. This is Paul Carazon, uh, son, who's 14 years ago, an ordinary looking man with fair skin and freckles. There he is. Now when he walks down the street, people stare in disbelief because he is blue. Really, truly blue. I have not seen him, but coming out, yes, you are blue. Oh <laughs> you are blue. <laughs> You are blue. All right, all right. You're blue. Blue, blue. You are blue. <laughs> this is a first on the Oprah show. We have never had a blue man in all these years, really. Well, you don't have any blue makeup back there either. No, no, blue makeup. We don't have makeup for you. Have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. So how did this happen? You weren't born blue, obviously. No, oh, I don't think so. Uh, uh, you're scalping. <laughs> and it's not makeup. I know for all of you who are watching at home, it looks, it looks strange. It looks blue. Well, it all started when I saw an ad in a magazine. Yeah. It was for a colloidal silver generator. And it was just a picture of a, of a daisy that had apparently been desiccated, that had been plunked in a glass of colloidal silver, and it looked like it was freshly cut. Yeah. And about the same time, I heard that colloidal silver was useful for treating petroleum poisoning. And I had a friend that had petroleum poisoning from working in a machine shop from the time he was, oh gosh, I don't know, seven or eight years old. Yeah. I ordered the generator. And I would go see him every day, and we'd uh -huh. each make a glass of colloidal silver, and we'd, and we'd drink it. and. Uh, and you were drinking it for his petroleum poisoning? Well, I figured I might as well drink it too if it was such wonderful stuff. Yeah, because you thought it was going to do what for you? I had no idea. But why would you drink it if you didn't think it was going to have some health benefits? Oh, I wasn't going to say, here, take this. You know, yeah. I thought the, the, the kindest thing to do was to take it with me. You know, just make him more comfortable with the idea. And, uh, it was about that time that I noticed it having some interesting effects. Like what? For me. Well, I'd had a problem with acid reflux. Mm -hmm. uh, in less than three days, that was just gone. So I kept taking it, drinking mm -hmm. it. Drinking it every day? Yeah, oh, yeah. And drinking how much of it? I don't, I don't oh, know what, what at else. Least, at least a 10-ounce tumbler. A 10-ounce tumbler? A 10-ounce tumbler. But it wasn't, it wasn't very strong. Let me stop you right here. Dr. Oz, what is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just mean, what is colloidal, colloidal silver? What is that? Uh, this is what it looks like, colloidal silver. By the way, it's, you know, it's, it's a very old therapy. And it, yeah. for thousands of years, humans have realized that, that when you put silver in solution, uh, it actually is bad for bacteria. And the reason for that, by the way, is it prevents the bacteria from making energy. But it does the same thing to our cells also. Yeah. And so th this ailment that makes you, and I'm going to call it that because you're through and through blue. It's not just on the surface. Um, it, it's called argyria. And what ends up happening is the blue gets into your cells, the silver. Yeah. And you know how you get silver in a photographic plate when it gets exposed to sun, it turns a color? Yeah. Or, 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 or light even? Well, the same thing happened to you. You basically tattooed your entire body uh, with this silver. Well, that's going to save me a lot of money at the tattoo parlor, I think. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. But I got to ask you, you know, the, the reason it's catching me a little bit uh, off uh, guard is, is I love that, that something has you <laughs> off guard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, just, I just can't see using something that fell out of you know, conventional use when we developed antibiotics because we had something that worked better than colloidal silver. And we, by the way, still use silver in some instances. When little babies are born, to make sure that they, they don't get a sexually transmitted disease as they're being uh, pushed out. We actually put it in their eyes in silver nitrate. We use it for burns. So there are some places where mm -hmm. it plays a medical role. But why, why would you not talk to a physician about this? Or at least when you started turning an interesting shade of blue. Well, I didn't turn blue from drinking it. I didn't turn blue until I started putting it on my face. Mm -hmm. And the reason I did that was I was, uh, I was taking care of my parents in their home. They both had strokes. And when my dad was going downhill and, and it was apparent that he was going to die soon, 
I, I was really stressed out, and I developed the most unbelievable case of dermatitis you've probably ever seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, I, I dabbed a little bit of colloidal silver on things like cat scratches before, and it was, it was, the effect was remarkable. I, I'm not disagreeing yeah, yeah, with, yeah, the, with well, the possibility that colloidal silver can have a benefit. Oh, yeah. But, but you're making it yourself, yep. which means you don't actually know for sure how much is in the, in the solution. When did you start turning blue? Back to the blue part. <laughs> okay. It was very gradual. It was over a period of probably two or three months that I actually did this. Mm -hmm. And it, it was so gradual, nobody noticed. Until nobody it, noticed you were turning blue? No, no. Well, I never got out outside in the daytime. Yeah. The only time I went out was to uh, go to the grocery store to get Right. For the, for the but household. Did you, when did you start to notice, hey, I'm a little blue? It wasn't until a friend came by. A friend came by. And who hadn't seen me in a while. And he looks at me and he goes, what did you do? I said, well, what are you talking about? He said, well, what do, you, what do you got on your face? I said, I don't have anything on my face. He said, well, yes, you do. You better come here. And he stood in front of a mirror with me. And then I thought, oh, gee. <laughs> what happened? Gee, I'm well, blue. Golly, golly. 